A microgrid is a network for a local facility, for a local community, which allows them to interact with the main grid, but also have their own secure power supply. Part of this microgrid is that we started off with a solar array, so we've got 51 kilowatts of PV up on the roofs. Here we've got the solar inverters, or at least uh, three of them. Uh, there's another one outside, which form the main part of the electricity generation. The energy is either used directly uh, within the facility itself, or it's stored in the battery bank behind me. Now, if we move over to the battery system. So what we've got here is a 137 kilowatt hours of battery storage, and it's charged using the electricity generators by the solar panels. The actual conversion happens at this end, um, so we've got our battery connection panel and we've got a PCS unit. Now the battery connection panel is really a DC switchboard and we've got a PCS unit which controls the conversion from AC to DC to be able to store it into the battery and vice versa when you actually want to use the electricity. Everything here is, is built around a modular design. We can add more solar panels, we can add more inverters, we add more battery capacity uh, more PCS power output capacity. And so what we've got here is essentially the smallest form of a microgrid uh, we can build. But this principle scales to uh, the entire town, the local community, uh, essentially the entire state or the country if, if you really wanted to. It just means more building blocks. In this microgrid and in a lot of others, Solar panels are used to create the electricity in the first place. And that's really where you get the big benefits in terms of renewable energy. We're still connected to the grid, so yes, uh, at the power plant, uh, there's still coal being used to, to generate electricity. But here locally, our primary source of energy comes from the sun. The Victorian government has provided $10 million to support eight microgrid pilots across the state. This microgrid in Birchip was the first to come alive. Learn more at energy.vic.gov.au.